Hi! Um, today I'm going to do just a quick review of um, the new, let me get my book here, the new Avon Big Color Dual Ended Eye Pencil. Um, it debuts in Campaign 5, which is just getting ready to start, and uh, it's the cover of this very springy cover. The girl in the green with her pastel purse, her grommet bag, and everything. Um, the pencils are on page 23 in the book. Um, it's the girl with the beautifully done up eyes there, just so you can see. Um, I'm going to read you the description of the eye pencils. So it says, new, expertly paired shades in one easy pencil. Big color dual ended eye pencil used as a shadow or a liner. Glide on color lasts for hours, waterproof, will be $8 and is on sale for $5.49 intro price. Um, it comes in two, three, four, five different uh, color selections. Blue Smoke, Go To Greens, Silver Smoke, Perfect Nudes, and Plum Perfection. And the ones I have today are Go To Greens and the Silver Smoke. So I'm going to let you look at the colors, the way they're presented in the brochure. There we go, focusing. And again, I have the go-to greens and the silver smoke. Okay, now I'm gonna start this by saying I don't, I haven't had any um, Avon eye color pencils, like the big um, jumbo eye pencils that can be used as a shadow or a liner before. The only ones I have experience with are from um, NYX and uh, I actually have a nine of the ones from NYX and I really like them a lot. I think they're a lot of fun to be used as a base or um, sometimes as a liner, just depends. Um, I don't know if you can hear my phone ringing in the background but I'm just gonna ignore it <laughs> for right now. So um, when these came, I was kind of surprised. They're really big, um, this, this big. <laughs> um, I, I guess I was expecting something shorter, but since they're dual-ended, you know, um, they were quite a bit bigger. And I was pleasantly surprised by that. I was like, oh, look at these. They're really, really big. Um, but I don't know if I really, really like them too much. Um, I gotta say, they're very soft, extremely soft. They're softer than the ones I had used um, previously from NYX. And they're like super soft so that they almost kind of slide around. The color kind of slides around. Now I did use them with the primer um, and I think that helps a little bit but they still seem like super super soft to me. Um, almost too soft to use especially on the bottom as a liner. Um, but I'm going to show you the colors. So this first one I have is the um, Silver Smoke and it's um, made up of two colors like a silvery color and then um, pretty much a black. So I'll swatch those. It's the silvery color first and then the black here. So this one over here is the silvery and then next to it is the black. I don't know if you can see it better there. There we go. The silvery one here and then the black. And the silvery one has quite a bit of metallic to it, so that's nice. And, and the, the black is um, a matte black. Very pigmented, which is, which is good. You know, that's nice. Um, and then, let me do the... They're going to roll away on me. Hold on just a second. I'll do the greens next. And I was really excited about the greens because I love green. Um... And unfortunately, it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. Um, so let me pull up my sleeve so you can see the green when I swatch it. So the green is like a light yellow green, and then kind of a pale, pale green. Let's see if you can see these when I have them swatched. Not very good. This is the lighter green here, like a yellow green. Sorry about the age spot or discoloration, blemish, whatever you can see on my arm. Um, that's the lighter, like it's like a yellow green. And then here's the, the pale green. Kind of hard to see there. 
I like get it up closer. And once again, the thing in the middle is uh, um, just a brown spot on my arm, a skin discoloration there. So they're pretty colors. I mean, shimmery, definitely shimmery. And actually, if you watched any of my um, eyeliner uh, reviews of the Glimmer Sticks, I had the um, yellow and the green. I was wearing this um, Go To Greens pencil in the video, and I just, I did not like the way that it came off on camera. I didn't like the way it looked. It was difficult to blend. Uh, my eyelids looked really wrinkly. I just didn't care for it. Now, I am wearing the the Up in Smoke today, um, or Silver Smoke. It's, uh, let's see, Silver Smoke, I'm sorry, Silver Smoke. I am wearing that today. I actually used it as a base, so I put my primer on first, and then I used the, um, the lighter color here, this one, as a base over my primer. And then I used the Avon Femme Fatale Quad and, and did the rest of my eyes with that. So uh, actually it gave a really pretty um, unique look to the uh, color on my lid with the silver smoke as a base. So I'll come in so that you can see that. Very shiny, metallic, you know. I, I, like, I like the look of this. And don't look at my eyebrows, they definitely need to be plucked. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So that's the silver smoke, the lightest silver color, then with a purple um, of the Femme Fatale Quad over it and kind of blended together. But, and I like the way that looks. So that alone, I think, is like a saving grace point for at least at least for this one. Um, but like I said, the greens, I was just really disappointed in them. They just didn't, I don't know, didn't work for me. But the thing that I really don't like about these all over is that um, Avon has this dual ended or um, dual line um, sharpener here. It's got the two holes, one for the bigger and one for the smaller. And these do not fit that. And I think that's really disappointing. Um, Avon might have another eye sharpener that they use just for the jumbo pencils but if they do I haven't seen it um in the book or if I have I haven't paid attention to it but it's disappointing that the sharpeners do not fit um the pencils do not fit in them so it's definitely too big for the small hole and then when I go to put it in the big one it doesn't go in too too small it won't go in all the way so that's a bummer I did find out however just by experimentation that it they do fit inside my um Victoria's Secret um, sharpener that I got from Victoria's Secret Beauty. Uh, it's two, two um, sizes also and it does fit in the larger one of those. So at least I'll be able to get some use out of them. So I'm not going to give like a totally negative review on them. I mean it's a good price. You get a lot of product um, and the colors are pretty but the consistency again a little bit too soft for me. Um, doesn't blend as well as I necessarily like, but you can find uses for them, like as a base. Um, and I think that the metallic in the colors and the colors are so different that they really would, um, used as a base, bring a lot of dimension to some of your other shadows. And if you have multiple sharpeners on hand that you can try to see if they would work, then it would be terrific. It's just not as practical. Like I said, I have the NYX pencils. They're perfect as a base. They fit my sharpeners. You don't have to, you know, worry about any of that. So if I had to do five out of a scale of like one to five, I would probably give it two and a half stars. Um, strictly mediocre. I'm really not hating it, but I'm not liking it either. So Avon did kind of an a miss with this one but they've got a lot of other great products to make up for it so um, keep watching because I have a review planned of the new kissable lipsticks I um, just ordered them there's 10 shades and I ordered all 10 so I'm gonna do swatches and a review of those um, hopefully before next week and um, maybe some other ones and uh, you have a great day thanks for watching I appreciate it and once again if you need any Avon, my website is www.youravon.com slash W-H-A-T-F-I-E-L-D. That's W Hatfield. Um, and if you're interested in starting your own business or becoming a rep, getting a discount on your own makeup and cosmetic products, that's a good way to do it. Just let me know and I'd be happy to help you with that. Thanks.